hi everyone how are you all doing so in this video guys i'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful piece okay so keep watching and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe like share and comment on my videos all right let's get started so guys to make this masterpiece we're going to be drafting it on a pattern paper so this is my pattern paper and i just drafted my shoulder line which is my starting point and from my starting point i place my tape on a straight line then i mark my boss point 10 inches under boss 13 inches and my waist point which is 16 then i had to mark a straight line on it so once i'm done i'm going to put down my points my boss point my under boss point my waist point and my shoulder point so after putting down the points the next thing i did was to go in by seven and a half inches so first of all i marked my seven inches then half inch making it seven and a half inch for my shoulder circumference divide by two then i came up by two inches for our chest point so your chest point is usually above two inches above your boss point so after marking it down the next thing i'm going to do right now is to level the chest point so that is my chest point my upper point my under boss point and my waist point we have four lines there so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring down the seven and a half inches down to the chest point then i'll make a straight line on it that that line is going to be my armhole line so then i'm going to divide the armhole line by two and i'm going to mark a point there then i'll go in by three quarter an inch then i'll give it i'll curve my armhole line so this is my armhole curve so once i'm done curving my armhole the next thing i'm going to do is to go in by divide my nipple to nipple circumference my nipple to nipple circumference is three and a half then i marked it from my chest point to my waist point then i marked a straight line on it so next thing i'm going to do right now is to from my under bust, I'm going to go in by half an inch and from my waist point half an inch. Then inside, I'm going to go by 1.5 inch. So making everything 2 inches in both sides. So I'm going to mark a straight line. So I'm going to curve my bust, bust okay, my bust here. So curving it using my ruler, I'm going to curve it to the bust line okay so this is how i'm going to do it so this is my bustier curve so next thing i'm going to do right now is to mark my neck point my neck depth is three and a half inches while my neck width is three inches then i connected it this way so guys after connecting my neck um width and neck point i divided my shoulder the remaining shoulders circumference into two then i marked it the center of it then connect it to the post point okay so after i'm done with that i came up from my post point by one point half inch one point half inch then i marked my curve that is going to be my post curve okay my post curve is going to have a v shape so i mark the v-shape then i'm going to tighten my boss by, by going one inch out and one inch in on both sides of the bust or um, chest point so i'm going to tighten it that way so i'm leveling my yoke because the upper side is going to be my yoke so guys once i'm done with that i will put down my bust measurements measurement okay my bust circumference divided by 4 plus 2 inches in my allowance. Then on my under bust, I will measure my under bust circumference divided by 4 plus 2 inches um, allowance and the 2 inches that we removed from the bust, um, the bustier tightening. So we are going to put it back. Then I marked it. So we have 2 inches allowance so this is our allowance our two inches allowance so i'm going to cut out everything okay. 
So this is uh, the place that we're going to cut out. So I'm trying to show everything. I don't know if it's showing. Well, I'm trying to mark it so that you guys will see how visible it is. So I'm going to be cutting out this place that I mark. I'm going to be cutting it out. So see what it looks like after I'm done. So we're going to work on the back. So for the back, I am going to go in by 1.5 inch for the zip allowance. And I'm going to take it down to the downside and I will mark a straight line on it and once I'm done marking it the next thing I'm going to do is to label my zipper allowance on the line and that is it so for my shoulder circumference I'm going to divide my shoulder circumference divide by two plus one half inch seam allowance but before them I'm going to fold in my zipper allowance because that's why I folded it in. I don't want it to confuse you. Then I continue to place my shoulder circumference divided by 2, which is 7.5 inch, and I marked it. So for the points, I labeled 10 inches for my bust point and 16 inches for the waist point. And I'm going to mark a straight line on them. So that is going to be my shoulder point, my bust point, and my waist point. Those are the three lines we will be needing for now then i from the boss point i came up by two inches for my chest point so those are the points i will be needing for the back so next thing i'm going to do is to continue to place seven and a half inch above the chest point for my armhole circumference then for my neck depth i came down by one inch and my neck width three inches then i connect it together like this so it's going to be my back neck depth so i give a little slant for the shoulder slant so next thing i'm going to do is to divide my ball circumference by four plus two inches seam allowance but before then let us mark our 3.5 inch neighbor to neighbor circumference divide by two so i'll mark a straight line on there then from the chest point i'm going to come down by one inch then on the waist point i'm going to go in and come out by one inch then i'll connect the lines together it is going to be my dart for the back and i continue to place my bust circumference divide by four plus two inches seam allowance and on the waistline my waist circumference divide by four plus two inches seam allowance and the two inches allowance i removed for the back so i'm going to mark my armhole circumference now sorry my armhole curve for the back so there is no need coming in for the back it's just giving a curve for the armhole so i'm marking a straight line on the lines that i've marked before and I, and i'm going to open my zipper allowance so this is my zipper allowance now opening my zipper allowance i'm going to curve the back so this is the style i want the back to have so i'm going to make it very obvious with my marker so this is the you can make any style of your choice this is the style i want my back to have the back curve so i'm making the lines to be very obvious so next thing i'm going to do right now is to label the back yoke and cut out the excesses so once i'm done cutting out look how beautiful it is then on the zipper allowance i came in by half an inch on the waist point and i marked a line on there so this line that i just marked is going to help my zip to balance very well on the back i don't want it to be very bulky so here is the back and here is the front so here we have both the front and the back pattern ready so i'm going to be cutting it out the yoke is for the net while the 
bodies is for the material and the linings as well so here is the skirt we're going to cut out the skirt now and i folded my material by two into one fold and i'm going to remove the upper bodies which is at 17 and i'm going to measure the full length of this of the skirt part of the gown so my uh, we're going to use 36 the length of the gown is 34 but we're going to use 36 as the length because after joining and everything the length will reduce okay so i don't want the length to reduce by if we marked 34 so i added an extra two inches then i divided my waist circumference by four plus two inches in allowance then my hip i came down by eight inches for the hip then i divided my hip circumference by two plus two inches by four plus two inches seam allowance then to make this curve that i just marked now i added on the down part of the gown i divided my hip circumference by four i did not add any allowance then i curved it like that so cutting out the back bodies of the skirt i'm going to place my front bodies on another material on another fold and I'm going to go in by 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance. And I'm going to use the front bodies to cut out the back bodies. So this is the front and the back bodies together now. So we have both the front and the back bodies now. So I'm going to open it up. Remember we went in by half an inch. I'm going to go in by half an inch starting from the waist of the skirt to the down part from the waist of, of the skirt i went in by half an inch then i curved it like that so it's going to remove any bulginess in the waist area so now we have the front bodies and the two back bodies so it's very easy to make the skirt very very easy so we are done with the pattern drafting of this dress so coming back i am going to teach you how to join them together okay this is the upper for this so i'm going to come back to show you how to join them together on the part two of this video